Grade 4 Math, number 51, Patterns and Terms. What are patterns and terms? Well, a pattern is an ordered set of objects or numbers. Think of the pattern on some curtains or the pattern of a blouse. Well, believe it or not, even though they may look jumbled up, there's a pattern there. And numbers can be in a pattern also. A term is each number or object in the pattern. Whether they're flowers or the number five, those are the terms of the pattern, okay? So, if we looked at the multiplication table, here's a small one that only goes to the fives, okay? Believe it or not, we can find some patterns in here. Let's do these and see what happens. This is the first number, and then that's the second factor, okay? So, zero times five would be zero times five, okay? So that puts us here, all right? One times four, one times four. The next one is two times three, two times three. Do you see the pattern that's happening? Can you already tell what's gonna happen? What number do you think is gonna be the next one I circle? Just from what you see is happening, can you tell what the pattern is that I'm making? The next one is 3 times 2. 3 times 2. I bet you knew I was already going to do that one, didn't you? The next one is 4 times 1, and I bet you know where that is, don't you? 4 times 1, and then we have 5 times 0. Do you see the pattern we made? Not only did we make a visual pattern of it angling downward like this, but we made a number pattern saying 0, 4, 6, 6, 4, 0. There's two 6s in the middle, then two 4s, and then zeros on the end. See that? We made a pattern. You can make all kinds of patterns with the multiplication table. You should try it. You should get a blank sheet of paper, make the multiplication tables on it, and see what kind of patterns you could make. Did you know that you can count by odd numbers going down in an angle, and even numbers going down by the 2s? Yeah, look at 0 and 3 is 3, right? 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 plus what is 8? 5. So five, 3, 5, what would be the next odd number? 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. So do you see how I add the next odd number? And it's coming down, isn't it? So knowing that, what do you think? comes next. What's the next term in this pattern? Can you tell? Or, uh, it's a green circle, orange circle, yellow circle, green circle, orange circle, yellow circle, green circle. What do you think is next? Which is What is the next term? Well, this one's not that hard. You should be able to get this one, okay? The next one should be an orange circle, okay? How about this one? Pink circle, pink circle, pink circle, blue circle, pink circle, pink circle, pink circle, blue circle. What's the very next one? If you said pink circle, you were right. Okay, we'll get that in there. All right, now let's look at these. We've got number patterns, okay? What do you think is the next number for this one? Two and then 4, and then 6, and then 8, and then 10. What do you think goes here? Well, if you saw that they were skip counting by 2s, and that the next one is 12, you're right. How about this one? What is the next term in this pattern? This one's a little harder. Can you figure out what the pattern is? It goes 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. What is it doing? Well, if you look closely, 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. So 13 plus 8 is... If you said 21, you were right. How about this one? Can you figure out the pattern to this one? This one's a little harder. 2, 1... 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, blank. Can you tell what the pattern is on this one? 
You could pause it if you want to, because I'm going to tell the answer. This one is adding two, and then taking away one. And then adding two, and then taking away one. Adding two, taking away one. Adding two. So if we took away one, what would go here? Four. If you said four, you're right. Okay, they're getting a little harder. Can you figure out the next term for this pattern? What's happening here? 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Hmm. If you want to pause the video so you can figure it out on your own, you should do it now, because I'm going to show you the answer. The numbers are going up by odd numbers. 1 and 0 is 1. 3, 1 and 3 is 4. 5, 4 and 5 is 9. 7, see these are all the odd numbers. So what would come next after this? 16 and 9 is 25. What would come here? What's the next odd number after 9? 11. So what number would come here? If you said 36, you're right. See? Okay, here's a colored shaped pattern. See if you can figure this one out. This one's a little harder. We've got a pink square, an orange triangle, and a teal ball. Then we've got an orange square, a teal triangle, and a pink ball. Then we've got a teal square, a pink triangle. What comes next? If you want to figure it out on your own, you should pause the video now. If you break these apart by their shape, those are all the square ones, these are all the triangle ones. Look at what the square ones are doing. Pink square, orange square, teal square. Orange triangle, teal triangle, pink triangle. So what are the circles doing? Teal circle, pink circle, so what's missing? The only thing that's missing is an orange circle. Everyone got to have a turn being a different color except the circles, right? So if you say orange circle, you're correct. So those are patterns and their terms. They're everywhere in the world. They're on your clothes. They're on your furniture. They're in your textbooks. They're everywhere. And now you know what patterns and terms are. We're going to start talking about fractions. So the next video, get ready for fractions. I'll see you there. Bye.